The province of Sambuanga Sibugay is composed of 52% agricultural area, of which rice land accounts to 21%, or 25,899 .41 hectares devoted to irrigated and rain-fed areas. Production growth is still slow. One valid scenario is the financial incapacity of our farmers to buy sufficient farm inputs, which is now getting higher, same with the labor cost. More to it are the presence of lending institutions, such as informal lenders, which impose high interest rate and add burden to our rice farmers. To address the issues and to ensure food sufficiency and alleviate poverty, the provincial government under the leadership of Governor Attorney Wilteria Palma embarked on a program entitled Kugi plus Ayuda plus Teknolohiya equals Mauswagon Gawasnon Malahutayong Maguuma sa Humay sa Sibugay an agricultural rice support program where financing and organic technology were provided to our farmers to increase yield and lower cost of production. It was formally launched 2015 with a start-up budget of 750000 It was funded yearly and with five years of implementation, the total funding as of 2019 is now 22 million. The program provides a loanable amount of 20,000 per hectare with 0% interest payable after harvest. Farmers were also encouraged to adapt the organic farming technology as part of the program protocol. This way, they will no longer worry for the high cost of farm inputs, thereby achieving greater returns and availability of safe and healthy food in their table. Remarkable results were achieved in terms of collection efficiency, ranging from 80 to 90 percent throughout the five years of implementation. There was also a gradual increase in the production to about 20 to 30 percent. In terms of farm machinery and infrastructure support, the provincial government provides pre- and post-harvest support through farm tractor and combined harvester services at a minimal amount. The said machineries were given by the Department of Agriculture and managed by the provincial government. Farmers may also borrow the available transportation vehicle given to every barangays of the province during harvest season. There was also a multi-purpose building which may be used as storage and drying area especially during rainy season. Around 2,674 farmers were recipient of the program and a total of 2,674 hectares were covered in the 13 rice-producing municipalities of this province. Moreover, the good governor did not stop on finding ways to support the rice program. Late last year, through the Department of Agriculture, Agricultural Credit and Policy Council, he was able to access funds amounting to 100 million for production loan again to our rice farmers here in the province. It was coursed through the Sambuanga Sibugay Government Employees Cooperative as the conduit institution. Part of the agreement between the provincial government and the cooperative that the zero interest shall be imposed on the production loan. In turn, the province will provide support in terms of personnel who will monitor the program implementation. This year, 2019, an initial release of 5 million pesos were downloaded to the cooperative and it was released to 250 farmers in the municipality of Tungawan, Artilim, Kabasalan, and Titay. After the payment will be collected, it is expected that ACPC 
will download the remaining amount allocated for the province. The success of the program was evident when last 2018, the province received the Rice Achiever Award 2017 for Category A given by the Department of Agriculture. The award recognizes the value and effort of the province to achieve an increase in rice production notwithstanding the big support coming from the local government. Uh, isip lumulupyo sa Barangay Balangaw, Diplahan sa Buwangga, Sibugay. Uh, dako kaya ako pagpasalamat sa ato ang provincial government nga pinanguluhan sa atong alangbang gobernador Wiltelia Palma nga pinaagi sa rice program nga gihatag diri sa ato ang asab mo ang mga mag-uuma dako gyud kayong nakatabang labi na gyud sa mga mag-uuma uh, mag uh, gitudluan kami sa organikong pagpanguma nga sa diin wala na kami ni gamit og mga synthetic nga mga fertilizer og na kami minus, minus gyud kami sa amuhang gasto Asa unang panahon sa akong pagpanguma nga wala pa ko ni sa organic lahi ra sa una ang ako ang yuta sidi kayo so pasalamat ko kang gob uh, governor Wilter Palma nga nag-organize sa aning organic so usa ko nakaabil ana sa iyang programa sa province so nakaabil ko akong gi-apply sa ako ang basakan takog kausaban sa unang panahon nga wala pa ko ni gi-abil ana asidi kay ako ang yuta nakaabil ko ana gi-apply nako sa akong basakan so diperensya na gyud sa ni nibalik katambok ako ang yuta sa akong basakan so pasalamat gid mi kang gob na ihan ning gi, gi hatag nga programa sa mag-uuma kay sa una gisud gisud kayo tapos ni gamit na kong organic ni dako na ako ang abot ni gamay ako ang gasto sa una dako ko gasto gamay og abot dako akong pagpasalamat ng, uh, sa kay Governor Wilteria Palma sa iyang proyekto nga gibugna sa pagtabang sa mga sa among mga uh, mag-uuma sa programa nga mao ang rice uh, support program organic farming ug dako usab ang akong pagpasalamat sa provincial agriculture staff nga mao uh, nagiya sa pag implementar sa organic farming Uh, pasalamat po mi kang gob nga nakaabil mi ato ang pautang niya sa mga farmers nga walay tubo. Dako kay among pasalamat anak kang gob. Og dili lamang kini ang angay nakong pasalamatan tungod kay daghan pang mga proyekto gihatag di lamang sa among barangay kundi dili sa katibuk-ang Sambuang Gasibugay. Dahang salamat og maayong adlaw kanatong tanan. In summary, the overall effort of the provincial local government and other partners such as Department of Agriculture and its line agencies in providing programs on credit, technology, and infrastructure support to our rice farmers will hopefully help them in the achievement of an increased production and income, thereby attaining growth and sustainable economic development here in our province and in the region as a whole.